Hi comrade. The left in Tamil Nadu has a long history of the of leading the struggles of workers and peasants and taking up the issues of the oppressed and marginalized. How is the left continuing those struggles even as it is part of an electoral alliance with the ruling DMK in the state? No, uh, addressing the people issues and uh, launching the people struggle. We are taking the people's issue uh, continuously. Uh, whenever there is a, a pressing need for the agitations, we are continuously agitating for MN Raga and also for uh, Kisan struggle and also for this SKM CIT joint rally. So many struggles, uh, transport workers, so many struggles we are launching. But at the same time, the, 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 we, are, uh, we are part of the alliance of the DMK. So sometimes there will be some uh, rift, sometimes there will be, but it is not a major thing because uh, they will also understand our position because without addressing the people's issue, we cannot uh, sustain. And uh, um, if the alliance parties are not taking the people's issues, then it will be addressed by the other political parties. So like ADMK and like that. So the DMK leadership is capable of understanding our position that yes, you are uh, you have to address the people, you have to address the issues of the people. But at the same time that uh, situation should not be against the DMK government. Because most of the issues are uh, nowadays come because of the BJP government. So mainly we are focusing against the BJP government and at the same time some issues with the DMK government, we will negotiate with them. She kindly uh, took it, uh, look into this matter and address the people issue like that. So many issues are settled. Some agreements, some concerns, some issues are settled. Some Another, some issues are pending because of the financial crisis faced by the state government. They are not able to solve all the problems. The BJP government is not giving any money from the center. In fact, uh, they don't want to allow the loan for, on their own from the state government. They are not allowing the loan. So they want to <coughs> put the state government in a financial crisis. So understanding mutually with this, we are approaching the question of uh, people's issue and also <coughs> aligning with the DMK to fight against the BJP government. We are aligning with the government not for, 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 not for anything else. Only to fight for the BJP in the coming election or the government of India, the rule of the BJP central government. So in that way, we are mutually understanding, mutually going. What are the uh, most important issues faced by the people of Tamil Nadu because of the anti-people policies of the union government? See, recently there was a very heavy flood in Chennai and the surrounding district. And also after 15 days, there was a historic rain in uh, uh, southern district, Tutukor, Internal Valley and some other district. So, very major damage has been caused. Historically, because in Chennai, we have never seen some 50 centimeter rain in a single day. So, also in Tutukor, there was 93 centimeter in a single day. Completely rain was there. So, such a serious flood affected. Uh, so, people are, people are completely vacated their houses and gone some other else. Houses were uh, uh, taken up by the floods. All the materials, all the utensils, all their savings, everything else has gone. So also in Chennai. Moreover, the government uh, road and other facilities have been severely damaged. So lakhs and lakhs of people are expecting uh, relief from the government. So, anyway, the DMK government has uh, immediately rested to the people immediately give relief to the people. Uh, but the central government, the chief minister has met it twice and other ministers met twice. But they have demanded uh, 37,000 crore rupees for the relief. But till they, at most as two months have gone, till that not even a single rupee was uh, given by the central government. In such a way, they are, uh, they are, uh, rejecting, they are negating the issues of uh, Tamil Nadu people, Tamil Nadu government. So how in a situation when see ordinary things, okay. Even in ordinary things without the government support, government of India support, state government can't do anything. 
But in the in the, in the in the special situation where serious and severe flood was there, they were not given given money, given raise or anything else. But the state government has to bear all the responsibilities and address the people. So this is the one example, one serious example how the uh, BJP government at the center is uh, approaching the state government. So also in Kerala the same thing is there. Moreover, they are making use of governor, making so many uh, 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 criticism about the government. And he openly uh, is leading an opposition government in the uh, governor office. And so like that, they are, they, <coughs> the central government is approaching so many resolutions passed in the assembly condemning the, even Supreme Court has given the direction. But even then the government has not, the governor has not relented. The central government is uh, doing all the welfare, all, <laughs> they are operating the governor against the state government. This is the, this, this is the way the government of India is approaching the state people. As you said, uh, Kerala is also uh, facing uh, a similar situation as Tamil Nadu, uh, both in terms of the governor uh, acting at the behest of the union government and also uh, in terms of the financial crunch that they are facing. Uh, the chief minister of Kerala is uh, going to lead a protest in Delhi on February 8th. Uh, uh, what is the role that the left can play uh, in uh, to further the cause of federalism in this country? The Kerala government is facing the same situation as the Tamil Nadu government by the government of India. The governor, like uh, Tamil Nadu governor, the uh, Kerala governor is a governor, is not the governor. He is, a, uh, he is completely a RSS, playing the hands of the RSS and BJP. They are running an alternative government, they are running alternative opposition party government like that. They want to run a parallel government in a, a democratic uh, country. When the people's representative are ruling the state, they have the nominated governor as running a parallel government. How it is possible? But only because the BJP is uh, uh, operating the governor in the non-BJP states. Non-BJP ruled states, the governor are made as a uh, opposition government, uh, uh, parallel government, by dictated by the terms of the BJP. So, in this situation, our I mean, our uh, Kerala Chief Minister, Comrade Banara Vijayan, is leading uh, so many struggles he led here. And now, on February 8th, he is leading a dharna before the government of India in Delhi. And we have asked that Tamil Nadu government also, government, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister also should participate in the uh, deliberation. But unfortunately, he has gone to foreign tour, already fixed. So he may return a 7th or 8th or at that juncture they will return. So in this situation, it is not, it may not be possible for him to go and uh, participate in the rally. But uh, I think uh, we have asked him to send a message, greeting message. Since he, they, he is not, uh, 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 is not in a position to participate in the uh, dharna. At least he must send a wishing message to the uh, to Comrade Pinarai and uh, he will, I, I think, he, I hope he will send the message greeting the, uh, because both uh, uh, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister and Kerala Chief Minister are hand in, um, uh, hand in glow in fighting against the BJP government. There are so many joint actions, joint protests they have led. And moreover, the Vaikam struggle both have participated in Tamil Nadu also, in Kerala also. So, Definitely, he will. Uh, he will at least his 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 wishes will be that. Way. And as far as uh, our party is concerned, <coughs> on eighth February there will be a national wide movement in support of that struggle. So it is not only a struggle for Kerala people; it is a struggle for the to protect the federalism, to protect the state rights, to protect the. Uh, to, uh, to, to, to condemn the atrocities of the governors. So it is not only for Kerala issue uh, is doing, for uh, all over India, all the state government uh, to protect the state rights and uh, federalism is conducting. So everywhere our party has decided to organize a support movement, wide support movement in all over the country. Thank you, comrade, for Thank joining you. us. Thank, Thank you for your time.